Hello everybody! Uh, how are you all doing? Mikey Bly here and we're playing more long Live the Queen today. Um, we may have not lived very long last time around. I may possibly have been murdered by an archer. Um, but you know, it's all good. That's what save points are for. It's fine. I, I brought Elodie back from the dead and we are all good. And I just thought to myself, all these nice spread of stats I've got, that my animal handling isn't great, my economics isn't great, and my medicine is actually also terrible. So I'm going to actually focus on some medicine this turn. But I am going to also, um, I'm also going to push some intrigue too. So I'm going to do like ciphering and like maybe battlefield medicine, uh, is what I was thinking. Um, so I'm going to do this and Battlefield Medicine. So that's what I'm going to do for this bunch of classes. Because I've got to make sure I've got a nice spread of knowledge. Even though I said I should try and focus on one specific thing. I'm, I'm obviously, I'm very, very stubborn when it comes to this kind of thing. Okay, so let's see what our ciphering learning was. You practice shifting substitution ciphers where each letter is replaced by one a few steps further along the alphabet so that cake and pie becomes FRIDDENDUISL you practice random substitute cipher, substitution ciphers where the normal alphabet is replaced by one in jumbled order. This is harder to decode, but most people need a written substitution chart to read or write it, and that chart can be lost or stolen. I don't know what the, the jumbled order alphabet one is sus fig figure outable without a substitution chart, but you'd have to create it to figure it out. So once you've created it, you may as well keep it, I guess. Or eat it, and then figure it out again if you need to. <laughs> or burn it. Another new outfit? What, for ciphering? Or is this just for intrigue in general? Oh, not intrigue, the, whatever, whatever that one was. Uh, wow, okay, well, that's better than nothing. You learn that wounds, even minor ones, should be washed as soon as possible to prevent dirt from growing under the skin. Ugh. Ugh. Just, that, just that sentence makes me shudder. That makes me go, ugh. Ugh. Things have been so unsettled lately. Everyone's on edge. We need something cheerful. I agree, Elodie. But what? But what? You could hold a tournament. What a good idea. Knights, jousting, musicians, all sorts of competitions. Everyone loves a contest. Well, what will you offer as prizes to the winners? Well, we lowered the taxes, so we've surely got less money for prizes than we used to have. Status and praise, employment, gold. Well, I can't give gold. Because we not we don't have as much now. And we have to spend money rebuilding the jail after it got exploded as well. Employment is an interesting one. Employment. Because if it's an archery contest or something, we could get that more protection for us, maybe? Yeah. But then we have to pay them, though. Oh. We have to pay them. If we have a one-off gold prize, that's just one-off thing. We don't have to pay them forever. But if we employ somebody, we have to pay them forever. Oh. Well, it's a longer period, though, so it, it's going to take... Okay, let's do it. The winners will have the option of taking up royal appointments. It's a recruitment drive. Very well. I will draft the announcements. I can never tell if Jocelyn thinks my stuff's a good idea or a bad idea, because it always looks like it's a bad idea. But surely not every single thing I've done is a bad idea, right? Right? You leave him to his work. As you move through the hall, your eye falls upon a vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves on one blossom have shriveled. Whoops. Oh, somebody on hall duty is being lazy. Those flowers should be replaced. We missed our divination again. You continue up the stairs to your room where a maid is waiting for you. My lady, a gift has arrived from Kigal. From the Duke? No, my lady. A, a merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Cavallo River. You tear open the brightly coloured paper to find... A spider! I bite you in the face, and you die. <gasps> Chocolate! Well, should we have someone taste them first? Production trade failed. Oh, damn it. There's a little card with the box. With our compliments, the house of... Cre... Cre... Oh, for... Come on, you pop one of the chocolates into your mouth. Wait, why did I fill dogs on that one? Hmm, 
Delicious. Well, it didn't kill us. <gasps> Suddenly you feel very cold. Oh no. The world seems darker, colours less bright. You worry that perhaps you shouldn't have eaten so much candy and tried to ignore the feeling of illness. Oh no, come on. This isn't this isn't avoidable either. This event just happens. Oh no! Unfortunately, it was more than just an upset tummy. By the time you realise you've been poisoned, it's too late. Damn it! We oh! No! <laughs> oh, damn it! What can I do? I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can get anything... Like, I've got no poison knowledge. Maybe court manners would help? But I failed the court manners and I had like 57. I mean, that's all I can try, I think. But I don't think it's going to do any good. Let's try like court manners and ciphering. Oh, this stinks. <laughs> if this fails, I'm done. Oh, we just started as well. Let's just check what this says. You memorized the correct title for every servant in the castle. Treating servants with respect and she was good service. To directly challenge someone's honor is to declare war. Never make a public accusation of cowardice, treason, infidelity, or murder unless you are prepared to face mortal enemies. And on that note, you study the etiquette of dueling. I don't think that's going to cut it, is it? Skip ahead. Let's do employment again. Skip ahead and we'll... We died. Okay. I'm st I, that's it. This is the thing. Sometimes you hit a point in this game where you literally cannot. There's nothing you can do to avoid death. There's nothing I could do. I mean, I know I failed a couple of other things. Like, I failed the poison check. I failed the dogs check, but I don't think any of that's going to help me. I mean, I could try one more thing. I could try and do a dogs and. Um. Wait, what was the other one? There was another thing I failed on. Was it an intrigue thing? Was it foreign intelligence? Or internal affairs? I forgot which one it was. Maybe internal affairs? I could try. But I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna cut it. Uh Okay, none of this. None of this mentions... Uh, I think I'm done. I think I'm so done. And I'm so annoyed. Because I didn't... I don't want to start another... Yeah, I died. I just died. I just died. I just die every time now. I just... I'm done. That's it. We're cucked. God damn it, we're cucked. Uh... Uh... Well, that's sad. That's sad, and I don't know what to, I don't know what, I don't know, I mean, do we start fresh? I don't want to, I wanted to just do one run through, but we've already been gone for like, not even 10 minutes yet. <laughs> oh, nuts. Well, how, so it's cool because you can save the log, right? And it tells you all the stuff you did, uh, which is really cool. Um, and you can break down all the stuff you studied, I think. Does it tell you what things you failed? Does it tell you what things you failed? It doesn't tell you what things you failed, though. You know when you get the little pop-ups that say, you know, failed whatever, you know, poison or whatever. They would be helpful if the log told you that stuff, but I guess... I guess the way those things pop up, maybe they, they can't be included in the log, maybe. Maybe they just can't. Well, this was fun. It was fun. I don't know if I want to start a fresh game right this second. Um, <laughs> so frustrated that I just died without even getting to do anything. Uh, well, 
it was fun. It was fun. I, I highly recommend it. Oh, this ends up being so short. So very short. But uh, what's under preferences? Oh, it's just the... Did I check this? I think I did check this stuff before. Checklist? Oh! I died at least once. That's it. That's my only flipping... That's my only thing. Oh, wait. There's more pages. Wait. Wow, look how many things there is. Oh, hired a spy. I must have done that the first time I played. Maybe? Oh, no. That was the musician I think we hired. Oh, that's it. I thought there might be more explanation. Imprisoned your uncle? Wait. Okay, so being crowned queen, been sent flowers by a woman. Hey, hey, there's a good aim. Transformed into a loom. Transform. Wow, okay. That, we need the we need the mother's, um, our mother's jewel thing for that. Died in five different ways. Oh, I could probably achieve that. Faced a vote of no confidence. Died in 11 different ways. Chance to went to a jewel, broken off an engagement, held a hostage to ransom. Discovered a terrible family secret. Wow. Ordered an execution, been forced into marriage, made a foreign duke your subject, found a spare lumen crystal. Crystal, not jewel, it is crystals. Paid a reward for killing a fugitive, faced a civil war. Spoken to a dead father at the gala. That seems very specific, doesn't it? Been challenged with jewel, survived the old forest. Is that where I got killed by the arrow before? Hired a lumen minister. Wow, there's a lot of stuff you can do with the lumen stuff. Save the day with the power of music? Oh, I love that. I want to do that. Ordered an assassination, sunk a fleet with magic, forced someone else to get married. Oh my word. Encountered a tentacle monster? That's a different game. Stop it. Achieved a naval victory, caused a couple to divorce, become an evil minion. <laughs> Forged a military alliance, been blessed by the favour of cats. <gasps> this is the only achievement I want. Ordered a human sacrifice, romanced a commoner. Found a magic mirror, summoned a creeping shade, faced a rebellion in Merva, faced a commoner uprising, discovered who killed your mother. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Triggered an earthquake? That must be magic based. Kissed your fiance, poisoned a chicken, made Charlotte a lumen, imprisoned your uncle, willingly recruited an advisor. Well, there we go. Very interesting. And deaths. Arrow to the gut, poisoned. Is that all there is? Oh, this is all 11 ways of dying. Cracked your skull, blown yourself up, let your blood run dry, had your life drained, choked on magical chains. Choked on magical chains? Fallen victim to monsters, gotten too close to a sword, drowned at sea, been blasted by magic. Cool. And the only epilogue I've achieved so far is death. So there's eight. There's eight different... Wait, no, there's more than eight. There's another page. There's three pages? There's three pages of it. So that there's 24 different endings. And I guess making it to not dying is pretty difficult. But that's a lot of pathways. Alright, I'm definitely going to play this again on my own. And rummage around and make notes. And try and plan stuff out. Um, and like make note of all the events and when they happen. Because if they're not randomised. You can try and trace a path through the game um, and like maybe sometimes you do want to fail a certain thing so that things go one way but also make sure you don't die I suppose that's the main thing isn't it not dying kind of important well this was a delight I had a lot of fun playing this game I didn't expect us to reach our end quite as soon when we started this episode up but it's just the way it goes you can't always predict these things you can't always predict death, sadly, but that's okay. We'll have to live with it, but let's not worry about that right now. Let's just enjoy the time we had whilst we were actually alive. Thanks everybody for hanging out and enjoying Long Live the Queen with me. If you want to play this game yourself, the, per the, the, the link to purchase it is in the description below, along with links to my other my other things like where you can find me on socials and and uh my twitch uh account and stuff like that uh and we'll be back super duper soon to play something else i don't know what yet but if you have any suggestions i am open to them uh, but in the meantime take care of yourselves love and appreciate all you and uh i'll see you next time around toodaloo